What's going on, guys? Section H Gaming back with some more Hearts of Iron 4. Kaiserak Redux playing as uh, the Rosh Authority now. Took down uh, Hyper Bad uh, Princely Federation in the last um, episode, and now we are just uh, seeing what we can do here. Uh, to subjugate. Go ahead and do a military governor there. And uh, the uh, Princely Federation fell apart, so there's some other um, countries down here. I don't know how to integrate them. Uh, so I can restore order here. Uh, so that gives them a ton of... Uh, basically roots out the resistance there. All right, so I have uh, quite a few factories um, now. 36, which is nice, because I guess taking over uh, the south really boosted my economy. I'm doing a little bit of root out resistance there in Nepal. I believe I'm going to go ahead and um, recruit head of intelligence when I have the political power. Let me go ahead and crank it down to four speed there. And uh, let's see, I need to go ahead and restore order as well. All right, so um, not too many events have been happening, uh, which is interesting, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, build a couple military factories, since we will not be getting any more of those from uh, our focuses. And I'm going to go ahead and combine these fighter wings. And uh, probably build an airport actually to support my uh, attack here. I'm going to go ahead and move that up. And then also wish that would just stop. Um, I think also I'm going to take one factory off artillery and do uh, close air support. I think that makes sense for me right now. Try to get some stuff. I'm going to do the uh, radio detection as well. Uh, build a radio tower on the border. And then I'm going to fortify the border with them, uh, the commune. So that way it'll give me plenty of forts and everything because I really think I'm going to have a hard time with them. They'll just have so much manpower because they're communist. And I have nowhere near the divisions I originally wanted. So, uh, go ahead and make my 7-2s. See how much artillery I have left. Uh, and then, uh, oh gosh, sorry, I forgot how to train troops apparently. Um, Go ahead and see. I need 451 artillery. I uh, have plenty of guns, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the guns down and uh, do that. So I'll be able to afford some of that other good stuff. Uh, go ahead and get a few more divisions kind of on uh, in route, and then I can split my army. Uh, so I can have a really, a really strong jab, and, and maybe, um, maybe the south or the north, uh, and then kind of work my way up. I, I want to take Calcutta as soon as possible. Um, I was tempted to do Marines as an naval invade. Honestly, I don't know how that work. But okay, so the Italian Empire is declaring war on Austria. Uh, that is not really something I was expecting. Um, but I guess he's going to either win or lose. I don't know. Uh, and let's see here. What other wars are... I don't know how the U.S. Civil War is going. I haven't looked at that. I mean, American Union State probably is going to win that. Looks like the U.S. is on the verge of capitulation. Uh, I'm talking about any wars at this time, which is really nice. 
Doing okay. Uh, my airport is um, finished here. Go ahead and add uh, a few more planes there, merge his air wings. Go ahead and build one more airbase, I believe. And then uh, probably some. Well, I mean, the infrastructure is really not bad here. Uh, go ahead and build some here just to, to have it. Um, and then, gosh, it wouldn't be nice if I did tanks. That'd be a great thing. I gotta get the trucks. Got to do some of that. I'm going to try to get uh, some of the better support companies here shortly. Um, just kind of do some of that. Uh, but right now, it's really all about all about uh, infantry. It looks like I can almost... I'm getting close on artillery, it looks like. I'm uh, making five a day, so that shouldn't take that long. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that on one, so I don't just like completely deplete all my artillery when I'm done. And we'll just keep working towards military factories to try to make our our army a little bit bigger. Um, hey, uh, like I said, I'm going to split... this army a little bit, so when my new guys uh, deploy, which I think I'm going to go ahead and deploy them uh, now, ah. we can train them up, but I'm going to go ahead and put them here to kind of alleviate some of the front line, and uh, let's see here we can put in here. I don't know. I have to cross this river so engineer might not be a bad thing. Um, hmm. I think uh, no, up Kajandi might be good though since there's mountains. Um, Adesh. They're not even at war anymore. Ah. Why does it keep giving me that? That's frustrating. But Okay, so I do need more soldiers. I need more equipment. I think fighting the commune is going to be very hard. Uh, I really think that I'm going to have an issue. I mean, I don't really know how else to say it. Because I don't, I, I think they'll probably at this point have equipment in their army, like the Princely Federation, which is uh, just regular infantry. Um, I think they'll probably have some artillery and, and some, uh, some better stuff, and maybe even some planes. I don't know. But, let's see. Gonna go ahead and take the second um, radar station. And you guys can let me know in the comments if the radar station is any good or not. I know that it kind of helps. Um, kind of helps uh, see what they're doing. Um but obviously, like, right here, until I get the second level of it, it's not going to do me much good. <coughs> but maybe it'll help me a little bit, um, as I'm seeing here. I can cover a lot of the border with my Air Force now, uh, even though I don't. I've only got five close air support, so it's unfortunate. But the um, National Republic of Lithuania has capitulated. Uh, the Germans on the move already. Uh, Russians also on the move. Let's see, they're at war with uh, uh, this country here, Nova Russia. Uh, that's interesting. I don't, whoever did this like did a great job coming up with these names for some of these places because I mean some of these countries obviously never existed uh, at any point in time. So. I mean, it's just so cool to see how well uh, how well this has actually just all come together. Um, the guys who made this have done a great job. So ah. let's go ahead and give uh, some orders here. They are. Kind of see what we're up against. Hopefully that radar um, 
station will provide me with a little bit of intel. I need to, as soon as my spy is um, Kingdom of Ukraine under attack, that's kind of weird that they declare war like that, but uh, let's go ahead and do uh, civilian factory, I think. Off map, very nice. I'm going to need to do limited exports when we go to war, but for right now, that's pretty decent bonuses. Uh, and uh, I can also maybe go ahead and restore order in these places so I get the uh, manpower and cores and everything. Uh, and don't have to deal with uh, a lot of this. Uh, stuff. So let's go ahead and do martial law in the south, uh, as well as I'm going to go ahead and root out resistance in the south as well. And let's go ahead and check our research. Uh, Deutsch, Italfrica, and Portuguese Empire, uh, peace deal. And uh, we're doing mass mobilization. Uh, okay, so uh, the Union of South Africa institutes racist measures against Indians. Uh, South Africa Parliament has two weeks ago passed a law that severely discriminates against the Union of South Africa's Indian migrant population, disturbing their livelihoods and commercial chances. The news has swiftly reached India, and the public is outraged at the news that, uh, that a country would do such a thing. That's the government is pressured to unequivocally denounce actions of South Africa to support the unions of South Africa dysphoria and their struggles uh, against the So, uh, let's see. So, okay, so that's fine. We'll denounce that. Um, keep everybody happy. I don't know why South Africa would be racist, anyways, against the Indians. Like, we're all in the taunt. Like, did you shut up? But, uh, this is part of the story, I guess. I don't know. I hate that, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the uh, research bonus um, again so we can get the extra research slot pretty soon. And I have the forts on the border. I don't know. I don't exactly know where those were built. Uh, but. See here, we're pretty close to being able to get the radar too, I believe. That'll finish up soon. Portuguese Empire joined on top. Very nice. I'd like to get this actually finished up before the Velt Creek uh, 2 starts again. I have 200, <laughs> 2 million manpower, which is the Russian Republic. Uh, Getting a little hungry there, it looks like. And, uh... I think if I just kind of knew what these guys had... Get them to assist our economy this time. And uh, we'll go ahead and tell her to root out resistance uh, in the south. Kind of do that. Uh, let's see here... Insufficient resources, that's for plant building, really. Uh, I can go ahead and and do a little bit better. Uh, God, they have a lot of rubber. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't know why Turkmenistan keeps getting wet. Are they at war? I don't... I don't no, they're not. I don't, makes no sense. Okay, so let's see what Asia looks like now. Um... Really just pretty calm uh, at the moment. I don't think anybody's at war in Asia. Uh, Europe, Austrian Empire, and uh, the Italians. I don't know why the Italians are attacking them. Uh, national populists, maybe. Social Democrats. Uh, hmm, that's not good. They're going communist. Uh, that could be terrible for Germany's playthrough. Uh, that's another thing about playing like, uh, I don't... I mean, yeah, the Rise Authority is a minor... Uh, but you have, like, enough manpower and factories and stuff at this point in the game where you can really do stuff. Uh, just like in the base game, I mean, the, the, uh, India does alright, so... 
uh, you know, they have to hold Japan here and everything, but it's just, um, it just kind of gets uh, weird because, like, the whole playthrough could just be ruined by just something random. Um, but, uh, like I said, I'm going to at least unify India, and then we'll see kind of what the world looks like at that point. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and restore order when we have the manpower. That'll be quite nice. Uh, let's see here. We have 35% paternal autocrats, 31% uh, unionists. Just got our truck upgrade. So let's go ahead and take, uh, let's go and take recon, I believe. It's pretty, pretty easy to do there. And... Um, let me see how much does so it takes 72 artillery for one division um, need to wait just a little bit I think before I start building more uh, troops but I'll put one more artillery there which will be pretty good uh, building a little bit more uh, stuff there. Still can't really see what they've got going on, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, they will planes in their server. Have a lot of fighters now, uh, getting a little bit of close air support, which is nice. Um, go ahead and put them out here. What airport did I put these guys at? I thought I had... Okay, so uh, send these guys out here, combine the air wings. Have 60 fighters now. Uh, which is not bad, I guess. Uh, and then I'll have a little bit of close air support, too. So I'm going to tell these guys close air support here. Uh, fighter here. We do not need uh, uh, bombing interception. I wouldn't think they have any sort of big bombers. Uh, let's go and get this research slot. Uh, finally, I know most people would like get the research slot first. In most games, I would, uh, but I just had such a poor um, economy that I felt like I needed to work down that tree first. And I'm going to work into some of the army stuff, I believe. Um, and uh, we can do that. So I need 300,000 manpower in the field. Uh, hmm. See, my deficit of artillery, 438. Uh, how many am I making a day, though? Seven a day. Uh, Constitutional American Republic's capitulated. Okay, so, decisions available. Uh, getting close to being able to restore a little bit more order. Let's go ahead and check here on our occupied territories. Uh, it is going down a little bit, which is nice. Let's guess it. there's a lot of wars going on. Italian, Albanian war. Uh, about even, even casualty wise, there's not much going on there. Uh, Guatemalan, Honduran war. Uh, a little communist action in the jungle. Uh, Xing authority. And United Provinces of Federal Government, uh, which is quite wild. Uh, the Qing is just getting hammered, really. Uh, Casualty-wise, of course, that's not uh, indicative of what's really going on um, in actual territory. I mean, you can lose a lot of people to so win, but uh, the Dutch East Indies and the Netherlands uh, victorious there, taking that rebellion down. Serbia and Illyria <clears throat> fighting there, the Belgrade Pact against uh, the Austrian Hungary group. Uh, a lot of people died in the U.S. Civil War, it's unfortunate. Um, just kind of looking here. Uh, Spanish Civil War, interesting. Um, a lot of casualties mounting up there, too, but see what the. See what the uh, climate looks like in Spain. Um, 
Wow, Tom just completely encircled here. Good lord. Demolish the communist faction there if the, the, all those guys get out and start to destroy it. Yeah, they just capitulated, so. A little bit of a uh, crazy civil war there. It looks like maybe the the uh, guys on Taunt supporting could come out ahead there. Uh, let's go ahead and. Um. Go ahead and core these states as well. This kind of help quell the resistance and also, um, let's see. Uh, go ahead and deploy those. I'm trying to get the manpower in the field. I still need more of the uh, I'm Trying to get the manpower in the field to uh, be able to take that focus and just uh, declare war. Um, because when I'm ready to do that, I think that's going to be the best thing. So let's go down the army tree and see what we can do. I need to build a second radar, of course. Do battlefield support, 150 days, not that bad. Uh, on our new research slot, which is very nice. Uh, also have some French allies here. The French have really been supportive. Uh, much more than the Canadians of the Raj here. They've, they've always had troops with us, and um, they're, uh, I guess, see the they see the manpower potential of India. I mean, it's like 2 million people uh, ready to fight, which is just absurd. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get a few more. And once these guys are deployed, we will have uh, the manpower in the field we need. Um, they are. I'm going to go ahead and actually ah. send five of these here to make 24. And then when I get uh, the rest of those guys deployed, I'll have uh, enough um, resources, I think. So let's go ahead and get my navy. Uh, in position as well. Uh, we have like no fuel right now, so they're probably not out. But we can go ahead and stack the fuel up. And, uh... Parent in Bombay. Wish I had a naval port on this side of the island, but of course they're all... Can I get docking rights from these people? No, they're like super mad at me. <laughs> uh, I can... I can build a naval base here. Okay, so... The second recent Japanese war after decades of deteriorating uh, relations with Japan and Russia once again placed out on the battlefield. Japanese alliance had a state of transfer under Vladimir the third to seek to reclaim its birthright and become a legitimate Russia. And Japan is more than happy to back their ally up. Russia has many struggles ahead. Now they appear to have uh, one more. Will Russia beat Japan back or will history repeat itself? So, um, that's really good for the Reichsback. Um, I think that'll actually help Germany a ton in their war because the, like, the Russians usually will attack them. Um, after they're already fighting, uh, which you you have to you have to just send your divisions to the east uh, pretty quickly, or the uh, they'll just run down your your allies uh, because they're basically um, little border states. You know they don't have enough uh, they don't have enough uh, weapons or anything to defend themselves. Ukraine might be in the rush back they are, but. I mean, like, Russia just barrels through these guys, and uh, Germany basically stands. Unless Austria-Hungary joins in, uh, basically by themselves at that point. So, it's uh, it's difficult. Let me go ahead and restore order in Andhara. Andhra. I don't know how to say that. I apologize. I butchered, like, every word uh, here. So, go ahead and speed this up again. Oh, 
Okay, so... The Ottomans under siege in the Middle East. The sick man of Europe, also known as the Ottoman Empire, is fighting for the last press against the Sultan of Egypt and many of his neighbors. The Egyptians seek uh, Sinai, the, Arabian, the, uh, the Arabians the coast, and the Persians' westward expansion. The Ottomans are fighting uh, what may be the last battle. Uh, too many, and if they lose, it could be the possible end of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, it could be formally dissolved, ending the centuries-old empire. How sick really is the sick man? Hmm. Okay, so that is uh, not surprising, of course. Uh, fine, I need to go ahead and put recon equipment on my inventory, I believe. Just so they can see what's up. And uh, it's probably going to obliterate my support equipment. Um, Syria, join the uh, Cairo pack. Actually, no, we still have positive support equipment. Uh, artillery is still working on that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and deploy these guys. I hate that I'm not going to really train them up, but uh, it is what it is. I can train them on the border a little bit, probably. And uh, we're also going to take uh, Signal Company. And I won't have enough trucks, I don't think, by the time I... There's a ton of people jumping on the Ottoman Empire there. But I don't see how they're going to win this. Um, yeah, they're, a lot of their troops are probably encircled right now. And uh, it's probably going to be Turkey for the rest of the game. You know, the Ottoman Empire will help the Russian, I mean, the uh, Germans on occasion. Uh, let's see here. Can I send an attache? Uh, get a little bit of experience. I don't have enough political power. I've not had political power like this whole game. Uh, which, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. But Okay, so a little bit of stuff here. Status of the diarchy, uh, faced with an uh, important number of uh, pressing issues. Dormant since the superstition of Ganja Sea. Uh, a decade ago, uh, most urgent is the status of administrative governance, which has languished under the ancient relic of the diarchy. Uh, dual rule over the provinces shared with officials in the central government and the domains of many princely states, bound in subsidiary alliance and the vassalage to the head state. The premier is under great pressure to do away with the archaic system of direct rule in favor of the more efficient and democratic local administration. Yet the survival of the dominion was found on the little to the northwestern princes at the time. Uh, let's see. So, let the Maharas play rulers in peace. The loyalty is concern. Grant the prince is a pinch, uh, grant the prince is a pension, but abolish their sovereignty. Abolish indirect rule and uh, expatriate the princes. Um, so I'm just going to give them a pension, I guess. I don't. I don't want to like just knock them out and not have a rebellion, but uh, also need more authoritarian rule. I feel like for the war ahead. Go ahead and build up a little bit of infrastructure. Uh, when our port's finished, hopefully we can get more steel. Uh, Empire of Japan, give me some more steel, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and raise the efficiency cap of our factories as well. I really need to get some oil, too. Let me look at the resource map here and see what these guys have. Like, no oil. Um, there's a lot of rubber in the south, which I'll be taking. They do have a little bit of oil. That'll be nice when I capture that. Uh, <coughs> and then I'll also take the commune of Burma, which has oil as well, and some rubber and everything. So I'll be sitting pretty good on resources when the time comes. Um... Uh, And uh, we'll see how that goes. So after this, I think I'm just going to go ahead and declare war. Um, I'll take the uh, the focus. Hopefully, we'll start it before. Um, it actually, hopefully, we'll end it before like halfway through 1940. Uh, could be a little bit 
could be a little bit earlier. I'm not sure. Uh, it just depends on how they fight and how we fight. Um, I have a little bit of planes in my stockpile as well. So that could be good. Um, solidify control. Worker has state. And, uh, hmm. Let's see. We are, we're on volunteer only, too, which is just... My mom has just observed, really. Uh, let's go... Aircraft designer. Uh, fighters. Ship. Uh, passing of Muhammad Ala Jene. Uh, death of... Somebody, Baroda. An opposing ruler. Uh, somebody passed away. Independent-minded ruler with little regard for British or the rulers, he is succeeded by his uh, succeeded by his grandson and famous spendthrift, uh, who is known to share his grandfather's national uh, sentiment, and then uh, perhaps the greatest politician of modern in uh, Indian, tireless believer in the Indian unity and constitutional processes, uh, passed away quietly in their sleep last night, a town personality uh, it shaped the Delhi government since its inception and safeguarded the Indian democracy in the face of syndicalism and princely feudalism. Uh, and he's got a successor there. So let's see here. I think probably... Uh, let's go ahead and take... Uh, Probably battlefield support. I just don't know how many planes they'll have, really. Uh, and I'm actually building quite a decent little air force here too. So, uh, not a not a great air force, obviously, but uh, we have a few planes, so that's good. Uh, go ahead and put that on four speed again. All right, so. I uh, have a pretty good little stockpile of stuff now. I think I'm going to train a few more divisions. Deploy them here. Go ahead and move our Navy across. And, uh,. We're going to do convoy raiding um, in the Bay of Bengal when the time comes. Portuguese cruising around. I think Portugal maybe have some land here. I don't get something over here, maybe. They're just cruising, I don't know. Uh, but you better believe I'm going to call them in on this war when we're ready. Alright, so about. Six days left on this. Uh, research doing all right. Uh, I'm just going to go up on five speed for a minute uh, just to kind of get some of this boring stuff out of the way. Uh, okay, so case of the princely uh, armies. Besides retaining informal sovereignty during the paramountcy of the British Raj, the princely states also fielded their own private armies, ranging in size from mere regiments to several battalions of infantry, cavalry, and artillery. Now with the new government already having decided the internal status of the princely remnants, the lingering question is what to do with their armor, uh, their armory, their armies. Sorry, uh, the lingering question of what we do with their armories finally surfaces. Some argue that the princes retain nominal control over the forces in question while at the same time expanding their ranks in order to keep them up to date with the regular state forces. Others believe it is time to bring the princely troops directly and unequivocally under control of the parliament as equal units and standard army divisions. At the same time, the majority of reactionary Maharaj and federal landowners advocate maintaining the status quo, although their approach is highly unpopular. Um... Uh, Let's go ahead and take them under our control. Just because um, I don't know why we wouldn't do that. Uh, but I don't see that we really got any forces, which is kind of weird. But uh, 
All right, let me go ahead and start this focus. And we can incite a rebellion. Uh, or we can just declare war. I don't know. I'm going to incite the rebellion, I think. Uh, <coughs> I think that makes the most sense, really. And then it'll automatically take us ah. to war. Uh, when that finishes. So I need to keep an eye on that. Um, 17 days. I think I'm going to end it right before the war. We'll come back. We'll fight the war. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I think we'll do all right. Uh, I think we're going to do okay. Uh, hopefully. So uh, I'll go ahead and end this here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Support me if you like the Hearts of Iron content. Uh, we'll continue this playthrough and then we'll look for the next playthrough. Uh, who we're ever going to play, leave in the comments who you want to see me play. Uh, I really don't, I'm kind of burned out on the majors because I played them first. Uh, so if you've got any minors or anything like that that you want me to play, I, I'd definitely look at that. Uh, I've not played that much of Russia, so I might be interested in that. But just leave in the comments who you want me to play. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day.